Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Teach and Budget. I am Mercedes. I'm a single mom of one beautiful little girl. I am also a kindergarten teacher who is on her financial journey. So if you'd like to join me on this journey, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And of course, hit that subscribe button so you never miss when I post. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Hey guys, so you are seeing this video on Halloween, so happy Halloween! Uh, Halloween's my favorite holiday, I cannot wait to get home from work. I'm going to take my daughter trick-or-treating and then we are going to be watching um, Agatha All Alone um, and handing out candy and just having such a fun time. I'm so excited. I love, 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 love Halloween. So can't wait to see all the kids' um, costumes. My daughter is going to be a skeleton this year. So super cute. I love it. Um, but yeah, okay. Let's get into what we're here for. We are going to be doing some long-term saving challenges. So let's go ahead and get our, our money. Alright, let's count up what we're going to be playing with. I'm going to put on some sort quick from Erica at Black and Blue to help with counting this cash. So here we go, we got a cash tray. We got 10, 15, 25, 35, 45. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. And you're probably like, wait, what? If you've seen my budget with me video, I was supposed to only have 60, but I figured out where my money went in. So I was able to get back my $10 for our long term saving challenges. So that is awesome. All right, so we're doing 70. We're gonna go ahead and get started with our um, Bucks binder. We're gonna be doing 10. And I did not color in um, the letters from last week. And so we're just gonna roll with the punches because I'm not about to do it right now. So let's kind of make sure we have 10 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right. All right, so here we go. We got our dice. Let's roll and get this ten dollars put into our envelopes. All right, here we go. So, A for appliances is getting $1 this week. That brings that up to $3. Um, bathroom renovation is getting $1. So that's five, six, Jesus Christ, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Because I ain't got time for these bees to be like this. So. All right. C for car maintenance is getting one dollar. Some of these are getting very close, so they should be getting done in November. So 
super excited about that. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm wrinkling it up because that's 19, 20. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 20 in car maintenance. Only five more to go for car maintenance. Um, debt is getting one dollar as well. So that is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen dollars in debt. Um, extra savings for travel is getting two dollars. So it now has 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Fun got nothing. My daughter didn't get any. Home is getting one dollar. It now has 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Insurance, why am I pulling out? Insurance got nothing. Just keeping it safe got one. It now has five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars. Get your renovation, got one. It now has ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen dollars. And Leisure Time got one. And it now has 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars. All right, and there we go. That is our Bucks binder. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to our short-term binder really quickly to do a couple of things in here. As always, we're going to be doing my Amazon and putting $6 in there. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to help. I want to say it is not the right color. But I also just, it wasn't. My bad. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So my Amazon now has 20, 40, 5, 50, 5, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So $60 in Amazon. All right, and we're also going to go ahead and do our Hallmark movie. Challenge, this has been one that I've made into a weekly, no matter what, um, challenge, just because I want to know what my Hallmark movie is going to be. All right, so we're going to use this pale pink color, and let's see what we got. Four, oh, no, we already had four. Two, I already got it for female lead. I already got it. Three. All right, so I am not a small town girl that never left. All right, let's see, male lead. I already did two. Four. He is not a real estate developer. And let's see, season. I need to have Earth of Spring. I would have winter. It is not the fall. Well, I kind of love the fall. 
Um, oh, we already did one tasting. Oh, it's not an apple festival. We already have ski resort gone. We already have Midwest gone. It is not in Alaska. And it is not a hayride, hayride corn maze, which makes sense since it's not the fall. All right. So there we have it. We're narrowing it down. Is it like we only have one more week and then we'll be done and we will have our Hallmark movie. So that's exciting. So three, four, four, one, four, three. Oh, wow. Okay. It was like, I'm going to. You're going to put a lot of me today. So that's 19. So add those two numbers together. And that is $10 going into our Hallmark Challenge. Was not expecting that much. All right. So we have 10, 20, 5, 26, 27. So 27 so far in our Hallmark Movie Challenge. All right. And that's everything in this binder. All right, and we're going to go ahead and move on to our actual long-term service, but we're going to skip to the back first, and we are going to do our Santa's Little Helper Challenge, and we're going to color in one of our elves down at the bottom. Our elves are $5, so we're going to be putting them in there 5 this week, and we have one more, so this one will be completed next week. That's five. So census little heifer now has 100, 20, 40, 50, 5, 65, 66 dollars. So 166 dollars in census little heifer. Oh, there we are. All right, now let's go to the front of our binder. And we're going to be working on my Sleuth Saver um, Scratch and Solve Challenge. So let's remember what our um, what my guesses were. Um, and we're still on my original guesses, so I'm feeling a little proud of myself. So my guesses were Landon Taylor. Um, and um, he was, is Landon Taylor is the killer. He pushed somebody overboard and he did it at the stern of the boat. Okay, so let's get my scratching tool, which was right here. So where did it go? Hmm. Uh-oh. Where's my scratcher? Okay, let's so put it in this bag. Let's go here. <gasps> no! <laughs> okay, so my guess is officially wrong. <laughs> It was not Lennon Taylor. And once, again, and once again, I forgot to bring in my freaking um my freaking um vacuum. It's still in my room. So suspects is three dollars. And because I got it wrong, we're gonna add another dollar to that. And let's get our three-sided dice and see how much we're saving in our you're such a blessing. Well, this is four-sided, but we're going to treat it like it's a three-sided <laughs> Let's see. What are we getting? Oh, and we're getting three. So we're adding three to this. So I'm going to put two back and get a five. And let's color in a three. Mm, we don't have any more threes. So let's color in a two. And then a one. Two, eight, three. There we go. Perfect. So today our Sue Saver is getting seven dollars. Let's see. So so far in Sue Saver, we have 20, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43 dollars. We still got a lot to go. I didn't I shouldn't even scratch suspect. I should have been down at weapons or locations since they both have so many. That's okay. All right, now we're gonna move on to our Boohoo What Did You Do challenge. So our, here we go. So how did we die this time? A butterfly attack. Guys, a secret you don't know about me is 
I'm actually terrified of butterflies. I do not like them. So <laughs> this would be how I would go. God. Okay. So we are doing this the low budget way. <laughs> so we're only saving $1. I'm not saving 10 this today. Sometimes I would do that and save 10, but I'm only saving one because we're going to quickly run out of money if we keep saving $10. We are literally probably at like $30 right now. All right. So $1 is going in today. So we now have $20, $40, $50, $51, $52, $53. $53. Like I said, I'm playing this a low budget way. If you get this challenge, you do not have to play it the low budget way. You can play it and save based on the number. You will save a lot. Because I went up to, I think, 25 on these cards. So, I, I I aspire to one day have a budget where I can save that amount. <laughs> so, that is boo-hoo. What did you do? All right. Let's get into our challenge book. And I'm, I don't remember how many piggies we have. But I would love to finish this challenge this month if I can. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I just said I don't want to put 10 in anything, but you know what? Forget this. We're finishing this challenge today. We're finishing it. I can't do this anymore. One, two, three, four. I'm probably going to regret this in a few minutes, but right now I feel good about it. 10. So, guys, ding, 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 ding. we have officially finished our first challenge in our challenge book. Today is, as I'm recording this, what is today? I don't even freaking know. Let's look. It is the 27th. So, it is 10, 27, 24. So, it took us almost two months to finish it, but hey, that's okay. We still did great. So that is that challenge. And we're going to label it the pig challenge, I guess. I don't know. I mean, challenge book or whatever. I don't know. All right. So we should have $50 in this challenge. So we have 20, 40, 45, 50. There we go. I don't know. There we go. This is challenge book. Book. Piggy. And it's $50. And I'm going to put this into medical. And you guys will understand why <laughs> when I do my real reallocating video and stuff. Because who? Let's just say I had an unexpected medical bill pop up. So, I need to do that. All right. Now, we're going to go with our gnomed around and found out challenge. So, where did we stop last time when we stopped on this gnome over here? All right. Let's get our dice to hopefully not mess us up. All right, we stopped here, so here we go. Oh. All right, so we got two, so one, two. Who hates me? Why do I have to do another card? The last one was so awkward, guys. All right, please don't be the candy one again. I'm not doing that again. I can't. Okay, what is this? Ooh, tell a spooky story about a haunted house. Okay, I don't have a spooky story about a haunted house, but I do have a funny story about a haunted house. So, um, okay, let's, I'm saving five. Um, <laughs> for Halloween, it's been a few years. Me, my sister, and my two best friends, we went to a um, haunted, like, attraction. And one thing you should know about me is I am terrified of clowns. 100% terrified of clowns. But I love, like, haunted houses and stuff like that. And so we go here, and I am talking mash mash it throughout the entire attraction people are like i can't there's someone farther away from us who's just been like saying stuff and so i'm talking back to them and they're like all right no worry you're coming you're coming and i'm just like why, why do i scare you 
So I get to this person, it is a freaking clown with a chainsaw. I towards it. No, <laughs> towards fears. I do not do heavy equipment and stuff. And I do not do clowns in any, any version of life. I do not do clowns. And so I like proceed to like I was following behind my sister and he just kept he wouldn't leave the fuck alone and I'm like try to like get away from him and you know if anyone knows the more like you show a reaction the more they keep coming at you and so like he at this point jumps in front of me so I think I'm running back the way I was we came <laughs> and I fall over a ditch I fall like in the least little, they have a little hole right here. And I'm not looking where I'm going because I'm just running, trying to get away from this fucking cloud. He's chasing me with his chainsaw. I fall into a, over the hole. Hi guys. So sorry to cut in here. Didn't realize my microphone went off. So I have no audio for like the next five minutes of this video. So I'm going to just try to proceed and tell you the rest of the story. Okay, so at this point, the clown, has, I have fallen in the hole, and the clown is literally standing over me with a chainsaw, just like revving it, and I'm curled up in fetal position, guys, screaming bloody murder, and literally, my, my, my sister and my friends and them have kept going, and like, they turn around because they realize she's not with us, where is this fool, and so my sister comes back to try to find me. And she finds me on the ground screaming. And she's just like, Mercedes, what are you doing? Get up. What is happening right now? You need to stand up. And so, like, she gets me up. And, like, she pulls me away from the clown. And literally, it was the most embarrassing thing ever. And I, when I say they have never let me live this down, they bring it up all the time. <laughs> but yeah, that's my funny, spooky, like, haunted house story. All right, so there I had, I think, $50 in there. I, I, I was talking when I just counted it, so I think it was 50 But I did just decide that I am going to wrap up my number round, uh, or number round and find out challenge. Because, you know, this is a Halloween challenge. It is very Halloween f focused. And so today's the last day of Halloween, so... I won't be doing it anymore, but I will definitely be bringing it back after um, next year for Halloween because I genuinely enjoy this challenge. If you would like to get this challenge, you can definitely head to my Etsy um, shop. I have a physical copy that you can order and I will put it together, cut out all the cards and get all of that together and mail it to you. Or you can get a digital version and do that all yourself as well. So... If you want this challenge, and trust me, it's a lot of fun. You guys have seen me do it. Go check out my Etsy shop.
Okay, so I'm going to jump back in right here with the Have You Ever game. If you aren't watching this, I did decide to wrap up my Saveopoly, so it is officially done. But for my Have You Ever game, I pulled the card, um, Have You Ever Fallen Asleep at the Movies? And no, I have not. That seems like a weird thing to do when you are paying a lot of money to go to the movies. Please don't do that. It's a lot of money that you're spending to be there. So watch the movie, even if it sucks. And the other side of it is, have you ever eaten ice cream as a meal? And I also have not done that. I've eaten ice cream after a meal, but I've never eaten it as a meal, which is very surprising because I love it so much. Not sure how long it's been and my mic cut off, but it looked like it cut off a while ago. I don't know. So hopefully you guys can still hear me. I hope I was speaking loud enough, but they created this challenge as a group play. Um, I actually have two going. I have this one and I also have one that's in my Monday minis. Um, so if you want to see who are playing this game, go to I am Cassie J's um, page and she does have a playlist of everyone who is playing this um, challenge. So we are going to roll our dice and see. Let's see. I think our last one was this two, maybe. Or you know what? I have a ten sided dice. Let's roll a ten sided dice because the numbers go up to ten. And let's see which one we should. Um, where is my ten sided dice? Is this it? No, it's twelve. Here it is. And see how much it wants us to save. Let's just do it that way. Here we go. All right. It landed on two. So we are saving $2 this week. Okay. So here is when my microphone died again for a second time. Honestly, it was just dead. I should have switched it out with another microphone. I literally did not realize that my phone wouldn't be picking up audio. That sucks. I hate that you guys are just having to listen to a lot of music. But honestly that's just what i have i'm sorry guys i will definitely make sure my microphones are recorded for my next video and we won't have to deal with this issue i promise but hopefully you're at least enjoying the music you know my brother-in-law made that for me so it was super awesome so yeah we put two dollars into that um challenge the back to school challenge from I am Cassie J Budgets and Salentia Budget, so definitely go check out their channel if you would like to see um, that challenge being played. And they also have a playlist of other people who are also playing that challenge. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the 100 envelope challenge. And I had, I believe, I had ten dollars left, and so I'm going to put that into the number. I want to say I put it into 91 if I remember correctly. Um, I just swapped the money out for a 10. Like I already had that money from my Saveopoly and all the other and the other challenges that I had finished. So I um, swapped the five and the ones out for just a $10 bill because I didn't want to scratch the little sleeve. And so here I am I'm just going to put that 10 into 91. And that's going to be the last of our cash. So please enjoy the last little bit of this song. And... You know, I'll be back to wrap up this video. guys so it is now time to get these finish saving challenges into my finished envelope so we completed three challenges this time that's my save opoly challenge which we've had for a while we got to finish my um 
challenge book piggy bank challenge as well as the other one that i can't even see what it was but we did finish another one yay for us um so that's three challenges going into that envelope of finished challenges so guys thank you so much for joining me so so sorry for all of the technical issues that i've had in this video i will definitely make sure i have my microphones charged up and ready to go from now on if you would like to get any of the challenges that you saw in this video they will all be linked down below in the description as always including the ones that i created my etsy shop is always 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 in the description below as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one